Hello friends, welcome to this session. Uh, last session we have seen that the kinesis, uh, what is kinesis, what is kinesis data stream, uh, firewalls and the analytical applications. So in this case, uh, we will going to see the console of kinesis, how to create stream and uh, what thing we need to uh, take care when creating the stream. So uh, I'm going to create a data stream over here. You can uh, click on data stream and I'm just giving the name as a test. Here I can give the number of shared server and uh, you have the limits of 500 over here. So I just keep giving the one and this is my capacity for the read write based on your shared server. When you give the 10, it will increase the, your writing capacity and reading capacity. So you can see the write capacity is the 10 MB per second, 20 MB per second. That's a read capacity. So if I give the one, then it, the read capacity is double than your number of shared and write capacity is the same as per your shared server. So this is configuration based on requirement. So here you can see the how it works. So this is the pro producer of your uh, data. The this is shared servers over here. The number of shares over here. So if you give the double or based on a requirement, so it will calculation the as per your real time analysis of your data. So you can you have to configure based on uh, your, your real number of applications. So here I I am taking here the example. So I'm just giving the one over here. So let's move create the data stream. So my data stream is creating here. So, um, let's move to the firewalls till time data stream is going to create. Uh, this is the Amazon Kinesis firewalls. I'm creating the delivery stream. That's the name is the delivery stream. Even the same name is a test. Okay, now you can see the example, the how it works. So this is the source. So here as a source, I, I will give the my data stream and this is my firewalls delivery stream. So source record and produce records it will configure the source record production and this is the destination okay so the source is direct you can put the direct but i want to give the kinesis stream so i have given the kinesis stream test so all um, data comes from the test uh, data source and uh, let's move okay now i want to uh, do the uh, if i want to do for use the aws lambda for uh, any uh, thing uh, transformation of my uh, data but here i am not taking the lambda example but let's see for the convert records format here you can convert record format using the apache parquet library or apache orc format so you can see here and uh, this is your format conversion you want to enable and in enable you can give the parquet or apache orc so this both are uh, used for the uh, convert your the format okay i'm taking the apache parquet over here uh, the glue is the aws glue table where you can uh, store your data we have not created the glue database and glue table so it will not show you here but you can understand you have to create the glue uh, database and table for the storing your uh, uh, data when you use the uh, record format conversion so let's go for the disable let's go to the next okay here it will show the where you want to store your data you can uh, the amazon given the latest the splunk also here uh, so you here the the option is s3 red shift and elastic search so i want to give the s3 so i have to give the s3 bucket name i'm giving the as a demo and i can set the prefix for my data you can give the example like uh, the date uh, any s3 related prefix also you can give here but i'm not giving any data over here so let's move next okay this is the buffer size for your uh, uh, delivery stream so buffer size you can configure from 1 to 128 mb uh, i'm taking the default buffer interval it's a uh, 60 to 900 seconds so let's move let's give the 300 over the uh, defaults configuration okay the next one the s3 compression and encryption so you want to do the compression for the s3 data store so you, yes you can have the options over here so gunjeep snappy and zip this is the four format here and the disable is by default s3 encryption you can also enable you have to pass the aws master key so i'm giving the encryption is mandatory over here 
uh, in when you use the any kind of architecture level you have to give the encryption enable uh, you can uh, making the error logging over here you keep so it will uh, logs your error in case of any data writing issues and the tag is no you have to give the roles for the kinesis uh, so you don't have the role you have to create that one okay so we are not creating the role here uh, we'll just see this all this configuration okay next you can configure your pyro stream okay let's go back to the stream okay and analytics you can see uh, in analytics we can create the application so i can create application giving the same name test and i can configure sql okay and this will connect with my data stream so i can give the my kinesis stream and it will connect with the stream we don't have, do not have right time uh, any data over there but the, this is the way you can configure over there uh, these are permission settings and the pre post aws lambda you we are not going to see the lambda right now and this is a permission for analysis okay so we do not have the right time any roles but you can go with the default roles also here So once you do the discover schema, it will try to discover schema from your data store and then you will able to do the save. Okay, so these all these are the basic configuration for the Kinesis data stream, Kinesis firewall stream, that's a delivery stream and the Kinesis analytics. In next session, we will going to create all these things using the Terraform and how it will create uh, infrastructure uh, as a code, we'll see. So friends, thank you for watching this video. Next uh, session, we will going to see the uh, repo from the Git and how to create all these things uh, as data form. Thank you.